Okay, so first flight in about uh, seven months. I'm gonna go south down to Mersey Island. Might be some para motor guys training down there at Alex's. And uh, we might leave it then. And then, um, depending on how the weather is, we might be able to take the coast back up and um, get back here, follow the wind, because the wind's due to get a bit stronger, a couple of hours, but it will still be the same direction, so I'm going to go into the wind on the way down, out of the wind on the way back, which is the way I like it. clouds just straight all along. I think we're going to go up. Let's go up. Oh, look at this one. Lovely, nice float. Let's just fly around it a little bit. They just look amazing. You know, I've been switching a background, Orwell Bridge. Just uh, touching the cloud here. Awesome. God, oh, just look at that, eh? All the clouds around here, beautiful day. All absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that one there. Amazing. Lovely. Okay, we're going to head all the way down now. There's a banning tree below me there, you can see the stir going into the stir estuary and the railway track going across it. Another lovely place to go flying sometimes and go all around there. Beautiful. Just gonna be going slightly to the right here, down to Mercy. Right, we're at four and a half thousand feet now, four and a half thousand feet. The furthest bit away you can see there, that's Mercy Island, we're just going to come to. It's got a road going to it that you can only travel and go tide. Way, a little bit of a wing over. And another one. And another one. Hey. Let's just do a wee spin to finish. Uh,
That's uh, Alex Anderson's fuel below, that's for flight paramotors. He's got a student there obviously, just practicing some some uh, stuff on the ground there. And oh, there's Alex. Hey! Water skier, let's play. Hello. Wow, eh? He's having a good time. I'm not gonna get any lower. I don't want to land in the bloody water. No, my next problem is going over Alex here again. Is that I've just checked my fuel and I've got two and a half litres left. Less than that, probably more like two litres. And I've got 20 miles to go home, uh, north back to base. I think the chances of me making it back with two litres of fuel are about F.A. Arse. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have to head up and see how far I get. And we'll see. I don't think we're going to be doing a lot of video in here. It's just going to be a mad race to go as quickly and as directly as I can. Uh, see how we go on. Well, I'm about 10 miles away and that away when you can't even see it in the distance is my uh, takeoff point. I think I am stuffed. I have got about half a litre or something left. So I'm going to try and go from farmhouse to farmhouse, basically, and let's see how far I can get and then land wherever I can and get a taxi, I suppose, back to the car. Well, this is it. It's just starting to stutter. I'm going to keep it going as far as I can, but you can see from the little arrow I'm going to put on the screen in editing how far I am away from the van, so I think I'm landing out arse. Okay, right. Uh, I don't really want to go on a slow trip any quicker than I have to because I want to try and get close to the village at least here. Uh, uh, thing is, right, uh, if I try and turn into the wind now I'm going to be quite a bit away and it's a long walk. Uh, the wind's strong but it's not that strong. I'm going to see if I can get to the far side of the village and if it looks like it, maybe I can get a little bit closer to the van even. Let's go for it and see. Say closer than I thought I was going to make it. I'm not going to be able to turn into the wind though, so this is going to be a bit of a kind of half into the wind landing and we'll just have to try and get as close as we can. Here we go. in my feet, that's always a good thing. Well, I'll tell you what, I fucking did it. Woo! <laughs>